Good morning, everyone. Uh, if this doesn't look like my normal backdrop, it's because it isn't. I'm actually uh, on the East Coast. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina for meetings. Um, and I'm up and down the East Coast all week in meetings. And I, I love traveling, but it always throws me off my routines. But today's a special day. It's a workout Wednesday. And I always say, don't make any excuses. Even if you're on the road, you still gotta get your workout in. Today's a special workout. Um, I am what's known as a state high pointer. Because these crazy people, that go to every single state and try to climb the tallest point um, in that state. And I think I have close to 30. Um, and I actually came out here to climb a lot of the Appalachian states um, a couple years back. I, I'll link a video right here of, of when I got caught in a Hurricane Irma um, climbing to the tallest point of Tennessee. I think it was Tennessee. Um, but during that trip, I meant to hit North Carolina and Virginia, Mount Mitchell in North Carolina and Mount Rogers in, uh, in Virginia but I didn't get a chance to because of the weather. So if you look at my map here, this is something I'm really proud of. This is the map of all the state high points that I currently have. And there's this big space right here where I failed to get North Carolina and Virginia. And so today, for today's workout Wednesday, we're gonna drive two and a half hours north and we're gonna run up Mount Rogers in Virginia. That's four miles up and four miles down. So let's head to the car, let's start driving. I think other than the, the absolute satisfaction of standing on top of a, of a new mountain, um, the thing I love most is getting out and driving through this country and, and seeing all that America has to offer. It, it is such a beautiful country. So let's get in the car and let's go for a drive. How beautiful was that drive in? A couple hours later, here I am at the parking lot um, at the trail to the summit of Mount Rogers here at Mount Rogers State Park in beautiful Virginia. And uh, the trail behind me here will take me to the summit. I'm told it's somewhere between four and seven miles. That's a pretty big difference, uh, but we do have a perfect day condition wise. Um, and I have been working out a little bit, so I should be able to get out and back just fine. Let's lace up the trainers and have at it. This has got to be one of the coolest trails I've ever been on. Perfectly maintained through this beautiful forest. Seven miles out, I don't even know the elevation change. One of the things I love most about state high pointing is it's always an adventure. Whether you can drive to the top, whether you have to rope up like I did on Rainier or Hood, it's always an adventure. I'm excited to see what Mount Rogers has to throw at me. We got wild horses. All right, last little stretch. Leaving the AT behind me, that beautiful view. And hitting the last, oh, I don't know, quarter mile, half mile or so up to the summit. It's a heck of a lot longer than four miles, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so like the idiot I am, I actually allowed my phone battery to get almost completely depleted by the time I got to the summit, probably from taking too many videos of the wild horses. Um, but if the GPS data I just showed you wasn't convincing enough, I did have just enough power left on my phone to snap a picture with the geological marker. Um, so I definitely made it to the summit, and man, what a cool summit. Um, it was seven miles up, seven miles down, 14 miles round trip. Um, and you really had to earn this one. But when you got to the summit, unlo unlike a lot of state high points that are rocky and barren of trees, this was a little nest inside of the trees and it was so beautiful and so peaceful. Um, so I stayed there for about 10 minutes before I ran all the way back down. 
Um, now, I've already mentioned it before, one of the things I love the most about state high pointing is it's always an adventure. Whether you're driving to the top uh, of, of a plane like Mount Sunflower, um, or, or whether you're you know, climbing through the night to get to the top of something like the top of Mount Rainier, um, it's always an adventure, and that's what I love most about state high pointing. Now, I think I'm a little over halfway done. I still have half the country left to see, um, but I love, love getting out and seeing this country, and I love getting to the top of each state. If you guys are interested in seeing the states that I've been to and the states that I haven't, I will link a list of all the state high points I've been to down in the description below. And if you're enjoying watching these uh, state high pointing videos, we've actually made a couple others. Um, right here, you can see um, probably my favorite state high point to date in my home state of Oregon, it's Mount Hood. So go ahead, do me a favor and watch that video. I'm so proud of that state high point. See you guys soon.